So the Cardinals are up next, and they have the third overall pick, and I'm staying put. I know a lot of people are thinking, hey, let's move. Let's get more picks for next year. Let's try and get Caleb Williams if Kyler doesn't work out this year, which we don't really know what's going to happen with Kyler this year. But get yourself a cornerstone. Get yourself Will Anderson. He's the best player in the draft, in my opinion. I think he's worth the third overall pick. I think he's worth the first overall pick. And if he's there at three, there's no reason why you shouldn't get a guy who's going to be on your team for a very long time and produce for a very long time when you have the chance. I think in next year's class, he's still probably a top five player. So there is no real risk associated with this pick. Moving on to pick number 34. There's really just nothing on this team i look at this team once you get rid of d hop and it's just like meh you know there's no i don't want to say star power but there's no like oomph. there's no there's nothing fun on this team and you know someone who is very very fun and very fun to watch super athletic for his size i think he does more than he gets credit for and that would be josh downs it's going to be very interesting to see where he goes he's been told he could go anywhere from 25 to you know 45 so his draft night is going to be interesting but if the Cardinals can get him at 34 I don't see another there's another pick I don't see a downside to you take the shot you aren't really risking anything here and speaking of a guy who you know no one really knows where this guy's going to go I've seen people have him all the way up at corner five I've seen people have him at corner 15 I have him somewhere in the middle there is Corey Trice from Purdue At 66, I think it's decent value. I think he's going to come in and play snaps for you in the NFL right away, immediate player. Um, I I don't think he's ever going to be a corner one, but I think he's going to be a reliable and solid corner two through four for 10 years. That's the type of player this is. Speaking of a guy who's going to be reliable for you for a very long time, it's Carl Brooks from Bowling Green. Big D lineman, you know, Get in there in the trenches. You got some people to replace on that defensive line. I think this is a good start. You already have Will Anderson in this draft. You got to build through the trenches. Your last two picks were skill position guys. So going back to the trenches with Carl Brooks at 96 and at 105, I'm staying in the trenches with Alabama's Emil Echior. Honestly, I probably could have switched these two uh, and taken Emil first. But he's a reliable interior lineman. He can play both guard positions, and he can play center. Um, He took center snaps at the senior bowl. He played center all through high school, but Alabama needed him at guard, so he played guard on both sides. Um, You know, he's just a reliable guy. That's really what you need. You're going to start the year with a backup quarterback, and then whatever happens, happens with Kyler. And you want to build – I'm building for the future because in my mind – you know, Kyler's not going to work out, building for the future. And for that reason, I took at 168, Keaton Mitchell, running back from East Carolina. He's quick. He's smart. He's got good feet. It's another guy where there's no oomph on this team. This guy brings the oomph. He's lightning quick. I think, again, this is a pick where, like, you just can't go wrong with him. He's going to be successful. Moving on to 180, and this is where it gets weird. You know, you just start throwing things at a wall, and you see what sticks. I went with Connor Galvin, offensive tackle from Baylor. If he works, he works. If he doesn't, he doesn't. He's got good traits. You just got to coach him up a bit. If you're willing to put the time in, you might get something out of him, but you might not. And another guy who you might get something out of, but you might not, it's trading the third from Florida. He's a safety. This is pick 213. I don't really know what to do with trading. Some people are really high on the kid. I'm not super high on him. But I think he's a decent enough player. Played in the SEC. He was a starter for a while. Probably could have come out last year and gone a little higher. Wasn't really talked about at all this year. I just think, you know, he's not a bad football player, but he's also – I don't know that he's a full-time NFL football player, but he's got special teams upside. He can throw him out there, and he'll cover a punt. It's worth it at 213. That is all for the Cardinals mock draft. I just fixed you guys. You're welcome. Go win a Super Bowl.